The Aeronautical Development Agency has provided digital renders of the AMCA aircraft to India TV for the first time, which confirms that the AMCA will feature a front-opening canopy windshield, as seen in the American F-35. In a traditional fighter jet, accessing the instrumentation is done by various access panels placed in convenient locations in the fuselage, but in case of stealth aircraft. The front opening canopy allows easy access to the instrumentation, as frequent opening of panels would compromise the aircraft's stealth. The official rendering also shows that the AMCA will have an integrated boarding ladder like the F-35, 550 km range through DREM-3 missile, a retractable refueling probe, an infrared search and track system, and a laser designator pod, while an electro-optical targeting system will be integrated at later stages. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that HAL is all set to start manufacturing of six TAPAS PH-201 drones, that will be used to conduct evaluation trials by the three armed services. The pre-production TAPAS drone still suffers from overweight issues, but to tackle this issue, the airframe of the production variants will be further optimized to meet the weight requirements set by the armed forces. A total of 60 units will be inducted by the Indian Army, 12 units by the Air Force, and 4 units by the Navy. According to latest media reports, India could test the Agni-6 missile in the next three years, that will have a range of 12,000 km and carry 12 MERF warheads, and will be capable to hit the farthest corners of China from a safer and survivable distance within the Indian territory. Interestingly, the possibility of launching the Agni-6 from Indian Navy SSBNs is also being developed. The media report also said, that the government would officially not admit the Agni-6 program, because it currently shares good relations with Western countries, but unofficially India has already developed and partially demonstrated the critical technologies for the missile. The first three MH-60 anti-submarine helicopters of the Indian Navy have arrived in Kochi via US Air Force C-17 transport aircraft. These three helicopters were handed over to the Indian Navy in July 2021 in the US, that were being used for training Indian pilots. The delivery of remaining 21 helicopters is expected to be completed by 2025. Cochin Shipyard Limited has delivered the first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant to the Indian Navy today. The aircraft carrier will be commissioned into the Navy on 15 August, and has completed its final phase of sea trials last week. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a contract worth over $100 million with the US firm Honeywell, for supply and manufacture of 88 units of TPE-331 engines and kits along with maintenance and support services, to power the indigenous HTT-40 trainer. The contract for 70 HTT-40 trainers for the Indian Air Force is under advanced stage of approval, and Hindustan Aeronautics is also working closely with Honeywell for its support for the sale of HTT-40 to foreign customers. <laughs> Defence Acquisition Council has approved the procurement of 14 fast patrol vessels for the Indian Coast Guard, with a condition of having at least 60% of indigenous content and will perform the roles of day-night coastal patrolling and surveillance, including high-speed interception operations and search and rescue operations. The boat will feature an aluminium hull, and will be capable of a maximum sustainable speed of more than 75 km per hour at moderate sea conditions. Oh,